What is going on guys? It's been a long time since I've done some Xenoblade Chronicles X coverage. The main reason why I haven't really kept up with the directs that were happening in Japan is because I feel as if because of the language barrier, even though there are some good visuals with those directs, I just can't really understand everything that's going on. And I feel like it'll water down my experience if I see it in Japanese first with the visuals but not the audio to go with it because Let's be honest, I mean, the sound in directs really doesn't matter when you can't understand the language. So that's why I've been staying far away from the directs, but getting the footage after the fact that has proper translations or descriptions of what's going on to be excited about it. And I haven't really looked at anything Xenoblade Chronicles X in a while. This news is a few days old, but I haven't seen it myself. So if you haven't seen it as well, then this is good for us. But if you've already seen it and you don't mind looking at it again, then that's good for you as well. But if you've seen it already and you don't really give a damn about me talking about it, then by all means, leave the video now. Either way, I'm going to be learning this information for the first time. So if you're, you're more than welcome to join me if you want. Anyway, so Rob on Twitter sent me this. Etika. Not only is Xenoblade X barely fitting on one disc, you can also install about three, I mean, excuse me, eight gigabytes of low time improvement. This is actually big, and I mentioned this in a previous Xenoblade video where I was talking about loading times and how I felt as if on a disc the loading times might be longer, but a lot of you guys did debunk that. But let's take a look at this article anyways and see what's going on here. Of course, as usual, it'll all be in the description. So this is from NintendoEverything.com, really good website, let me fix my nuts. Okay. Perfect. Is my dick in there? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um, Xenoblade Chronicles X lets you install different files to improve load times with a disk version. So, I'm going to be reading through articles a lot now, but kind of like skimming through them, maybe trying to pull out the best information. So, don't mind me if I get a little bit quiet. So, let's see here. Um, the Japanese Xenoblade Chronicles X website was updated today with information regarding the Please come to. Four downloads from the eShop that will ultimately reduce load times in the game when using the disk version. You see, now remember, I talked about this earlier in regards to how the disk version probably is going to have a lot more loading screens in certain areas, or not maybe not more loading screens, but more loading time, which is to be expected because it's not going to be a download. All of the downloaded version will be 22 gigs around there, 22 or 27, I can't remember exactly, don't quote me, but it'll be around that area for the Wii U, and that's a lot of data. I mean, the Wii U only has, what? Um, what is what is this? The 32 gig version? The black one, I think, has 32 gigs. I mean, somewhere around there. I don't think it has 64. I think it has 32 gigs. But once again, don't quote me. I should know that off the top of my head, but I barely touched my Wii U. Um, that is a lot of fucking space for a game to take up on the Wii U. But hey, I mean. This might just show that there's a lot more benefit to getting the disc version now because there's going to be DLC downloads to make the load times faster on the disc. The only question is, how big will these DLC downloads be? Eight gigabytes? Eight gigabytes is definitely a lot better than fucking 22 or 27. Can't remember exactly, I think it's 22. But um, yeah, it, it, it makes you wonder which would be the most preferable thing. I'm going to probably download the game on my Wii U simply because I like everything to be loading fast off of the hard drive and not off of a disc. So it keeps loading time smooth all around, but then again, you know, that'll pretty much cut me out of any other big game that comes out, although Splatoon is going to be relatively small. I think I'm going to download it, but still, let's see where the perks come in for buying the disc version and getting the download packages. So um, there are four down, there are four file downloads, I'm sorry, I can't read sometimes. Um, there are four files to download in total. Here's a breakdown of each. The field basic data package, large effect, two gigabytes, and it's just basic data. And this is all going to be included with the disk version if you decide to download these files. Like, these aren't mandatory. You won't have to take up 8 gigabytes on your Wii U, you know, all the time in order to be able to play the disk version. But they're just saying, if you buy the Xenoblade Chronicles X disk version, you have the option to download these extra files, which will make your game run smoother. And if you've got the space in your Wii U, then by all means, I highly suggest you do so. Let's just be honest here. I mean, there's not really that many games on the Wii U that take up as much goddamn space as Xenoblade Chronicles X. So you can get away with buying the disk version and downloading these files. You should have plenty of space in your Wii U anyways, because the games are really small. Apparently Mario Party, oh no, excuse me, not Mario Party, uh, Mario Galaxy, one of those games, I don't know which one exactly, but one of those games is like only, what, two gigs? So you should have space. The field, basic data package, large pack, enemy data pack, okay. One thing that's interesting is that I'm guessing that these four separate downloads, sorry, there, there's always some shit going on here in New York. The interesting thing about these is that those four separate downloads look like they're each optional. So if you don't really have that much space in your Wii U, you can opt out for one of the downloads. Um, so for example, if you are playing Xenoblade Chronicles X with the disc version, you're definitely gonna wanna download this first loader pack, 
which will definitely have a large effect. But for the rest of them, it seems like you can kind of opt out of the doll data pack if you want. Um, you can definitely opt out of the doll data pack if you don't have that much space on your Wii U. If you're like really pushing the space limits on this thing, then it looks like you'll be able to go without the doll data and still be good on space. Maybe not good, but you know, have not push it to the limit. But um, I'm going to be downloading it still anyways because I just like the effect of having everything smooth. But are you going to be now getting the disc version or downloading? Like I said, the Wii U space is limited. So I can imagine a lot of you guys will be opting for the disc. So the question remains, will you be getting the digital downloads for the disc version to make it run faster? Let me know in the comments what you think about this system. I think it's amazing because like I've said before, smoothness makes a game more memorable in my opinion. You know, like, and that's why I'm a little bit upset that Xenoblade Chronicles X does not run at 60 frames, although I guess it's not really needed. But I feel like 60 frames really transforms the way a game is perceived. And, um, you know, anything to help the loading times out is definitely appreciated as well, too. Time is money, man. And especially when you're playing a game like this, time is everything, not just money. Time is the experience, you know what I mean? So you definitely don't want to be in loading screens for a while. And you know for a fact that this game without these downloads would be a one hell of a loading screen kind of game because of how massive it is. Either way, guys, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.